In the last court sitting, Matthew Kanyamunyo, the prime suspect in the matter of killing Kenneth Akena, officially filed an application in High Court Criminal Division for want of court to hold the hearing process, pending the traditional process with the deceased's family and the Chori Karicho leaders. According to his application, Matthew Kanyamunyo, who admitted to commit the offense, is just remaining with only one step to complete the traditional process. However, this application was objected by the state. Judge Stephen Movido, in giving his ruling in this application, said the matterport process does not protect one's human right. I also had trouble finding consistency between that traditional system with the guarantees, the human rights guarantees of a fair trial in our domestic system, the regional level and the international level. According to Judge Movido, for court to hold the trial on the traditional process, it will hinder speed and fair trial to the accused, whereby the second accused is not a part in the application. So to me, there is clear manifestation of using these processes as a tactical delay mechanism. Why? This case has been pending for three years now. I could not find an enforcement mechanism in that system. The judge who first appreciated the matterport process, however, indicated that the process neither indicates whether the accused accepted the crime, nor rather does it provide protection to the accused. The rights are performed only after the offender has admitted publicly having committed an offence. I read the application. I did not find a public admission of liability in that application. Court also adds that the process does not reward a suitable punishment and there is no clear evidence to show that those involved in the process are independent, among other reasons. I did not see a similar protection in the traditional justice mechanisms. Who chooses the people involved in this process, whether they are not open to interference and pressures, why should the second accused person be subjected to this prolonged wait. I'm not persuaded that this is a proper application. Mafika Nyamunyo and his girlfriend, Cynthia Mnyuangari, who were abandoned by their legal team, are now represented by Kampala Associated Advocates. Basing on the grounds of having new lawyers, defense prayed for more time to peru through the file, as Kanyamunyo also completes the pre bargain process with the DPP's office. Judge Stephen Mubiru adjourned this case to 12 November 2020 for further hearing. 13 witnesses have so far testified in this matter. From the prosecution's side, Matthew Kanyamunyo and his girlfriend, Tenthia Mnyuangari, murdered Kenneth Akeda at Lugogo along Kampala Ginger Highway in 2016. Devora Namamonde, UBC News.